Greetings, comrades. It is time for a happy meal. And by happy meal, I mean a military ration, which is quite frankly a happy meal for adults. It's for big boys and girls. It's like a food lucky bag. And this is a single meal ration. I'm going to zoom down it so that if you wish, you can perhaps uh, freeze this and look at the text for seeing what it says later on. Because, well, uh, I haven't a clue what's in this and I don't really want to know what's in it because I want that to be a surprise. But anyway, let's zoom back out again, get the knife in and open it up and we'll see what's inside here. So what's the best way to open it? I shall open it at the bottom. Oh, it turns out there is a little rip thing, right? There is a rip thing, and it's got a uh, it's got a sort of zip lock. But and I've I've already ripped it open now, so that's not going to happen. Inside is a cardboard box. My apologies for the loud noises. This is a very crinkly bag. I shall take it off camera, Mum Charlie. Uh, there we go. Here's what's inside. Let us explore and see what there is to eat. Ugh. Let us see if we can even open it. Oh, here we go. Right, okay, a lot of space being taken up by cookies. They don't look as hard as usual. We have, oh, we've got a little stove. We've got the usual pots of meaty things that I'd expect in sort of Russian stuff. Oh, and we've got a potted meal. That's interesting. Um, is this, it feels like a moist towelette. This feels like, well, it's got a pitcher of apple, so it's apple sauce. We've got a sachet of stuff and sugar. We've got a little plastic thing. Uh, and we've got instructions and things in, in Russian, which is not very good when you don't speak Russian. One of those languages. One of those languages that I wish I could speak. So, right, okay. I guess, well, it's not a huge portion, is it? We've also got these, which I'm guessing are tea bags. Are they tea bags? I shall open one and we'll see. I, I really haven't a clue what's in here. No, that is not a tea bag. That is a bottom wipe. So that would make terrible tea. Um, let me just tame this down a bit. That's better. Right, so tell you what, I guess, well, I'll open this for a start. This is where it all goes wrong it doesn't open. It's well sealed. Ooh, I haven't a clue what this is. I shall taste it. Is it supposed to be heated? I think so. Mm. Mm. A savoury puree is what I would describe that as. And this... I'm expecting a meaty stew. Oh, it's got rice as well. That's good. Okay. I'm probably supposed to leave this partially closed while I heat it, but I'm going to transfer it to my bachelor tub and then heat it up in that. Right, tell you what, I'm going to cook some of this stuff up. One moment, please. And resume. Okay, so I've done some translation. This stuff here is called sterilized uh, zucchini caviar. This stuff, mm, taste it, mm. a very savoury vegetable paste, very nice, it's going to be good with the crackers. This stuff, it turns out, is buckwheat porridge with beef. Uh, I have cooked it. Mm -hmm. Tastes pretty good to me. Very typical of these meals. It's uh, almost like a rice texture. The buckwheat actually gives a very strong sort of granular sort of rice effect. And there's plenty of that meatiness to this. Lots of shreds of the meat through it. That is very nice. For a drink, it came with black tea and absolutely tons of sugar. The sugar, uh, it came with 20 grams, I'm guessing, ultimately. Hold on, let's bring the black tea in. It's still quite hot. I'm guessing that this might be intended to largely be used all at once, maybe, in the black tea. 20 grams, that would make it a very sweet black tea, which may be how they, they're doing it, because uh, ultimately that would be perfect for uh, boosting your energy. It would be basically an energy drink with loads of sugar. Let me just taste that and see what it's like. 
Oh, that's okay. That is okay. That's really nice. I tried just a black tea in its own before. Not my thing. I prefer a milky tea. But this, with the actual sugar, it tastes all right. Optionally, I have. I don't think it'd be needed for this, to be honest. But I have salt and pepper sashes. Uh, another of the moist wipes. This is... Uh, apple jam, which I'll try these crackers and then we'll light one of these because these are actually self-lighting fuel blocks They've got a sort of igniter on the side by the look of it and then the metal frame But we'll take a look at that afterwards. I shall whip out some crackers I'm just gonna eat more of this stuff because this is actually very good. Excuse me making eating noises This is where people will complain. They'll say why are you making eating noises? It's because it's an MRE video. It's eating a meal mm. Oh, it's so good Being low-grade trash, that is absolutely perfect for people like me. Low expectations for food. Now, are these crackers going to be the ones that are super rock hard? No, they're not. They're soft crackers. Let's try dipping one in the zucchini paste. Mm-hmm. That works. That's really nice. It's almost like, almost like a savoury spread. Well, it is a savoury spread. A non-sugary jam. This, however, is a sugary jam. Mm. It has a little rip tab. Uh, so let's grab a cracker. Oh yeah, see, this really is a, a loud eating noise one. <gasps> the jam is very gelatinous. Um, and uh, fruity looking. I shall taste it and uh, tell you what it's like. Very sweet. This is more like an apple sauce. There's not an awful lot of apple as such in it. It's really nice though. It is, ultimately, it is an apple jam, but with basically just apple puree. I'm not sure. Right, tell you what then. Um, I shall finish eating this stuff, right? And then we'll take a look at this little stove and we'll try it out. One moment, please. Yep, that was pretty good. There was only one slightly tough random bit of cow stuff in that meal. Uh, the savoury paste and the sweet jam in the middle makes a very good dip for the crackers. I shall have the other crackers afterwards. But now, let's take a look at this. It's the little self-lighting blocks. It, it's this sort of fuel block, but with this sort of match stuff on the side. Righty, -ho, how do I open this? It's well sealed. I shall use a kniff to open it. That sounds like a good idea. So I shall slit it down here. Is that going to open? Possibly. Possibly not. Maybe not. Maybe I've just screwed up. Hold on. I shall do it like here then. It's well sealed. It's not exactly, I suppose, ultimately. They want to keep it dry, don't they? I've just completely malformed the metal. Right. That's kind of opening. That's kind of open. Excellent. So this is the uh, base of the stove. Does the little thing go up the way or down the way? It's got the little crosses built in. It doesn't really say, but these little bits go down the way. And these bits go up the way, because they're the bit you put your meal on. And there you have your self-standing stove. You get one of the blocks and I guess you just use this sandpaper to strike it. It's it's almost there. It didn't, did it? There we go. Okay, that's quite handy. Fizzle, fizzle, fizzle. Burn, burn, burn. Uh, right. Uh, one moment, I'll just let that come up to heat just so we can see what sort of flame we get off it. Righty ho, well, for obvious reasons I won't be putting this onto the camera because, yeah, it's got quite a decent little flame. It's going up about 6 inches, 150 mil, with the heat going up a lot further than that. So uh, that burns quite well. Right, I think that's enough of that. So that is ultimately, mind your eyes, the light is coming back. That is the uh, summary of that sort of single meal 
MRE from Russia. That came from eBay. I shall put a link to it, in fact, and uh, maybe a description as well, uh, if it's still actually available. But there we go. Interesting. It was it was what you'd expect. It was a single portion meal. It wasn't like the sort of luxury all day, you know, like the sort of three meal version with snacks and treats. But having said that, the sugar syrup, uh, well, the the high sugar uh, tea, just keeping this, I'm going to move this flame away from here. This is a good idea. The high sugar uh, tea and also the syrupy jam uh, would be a replacement for, for the bit of candy or whatever that you might normally get. But that's it. Did I enjoy it? Yes, I did. But then again, it's very hard to actually find a meal that I don't like. <laughs>